Welcome back, you beautiful people. Today is an Ashton Academy, Trials Academy. Martin said to meet him here at this specific rock, but he's not here yet, but he did say, ride this rock over and over and over and over again. Uh, it could get a bit boring, but all right, ride this rock over and over again. Don't know what it's got to do with. I just steam over this thing. Samson! Oh, Mr. Ashton! Woohoo! Ashton Academy yes. time! Rock. Rock. Yeah, it's fun. It is like a transition if I went this way. Yeah. I could use that as a lip. Yeah. Show me, show me, show right. me. Yeah, nice. You're making it look easy, dude. Yeah. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about today Sweet. is your strengths and weaknesses. Yes. Okay, now. What we know about Blake Sampson, and maybe at times a weakness, is you are prone to just bash through something. Like that. You're not necessarily thinking about what's coming up, you're dealing with what's in front of you at that moment. Yeah. Okay? It's great riding, don't get me wrong. But what trials can teach you to do is to break things up. The one thing you have to do every time you ride over this rock is start and then stop. Trials riding means you have to go over something, Stop. Right. Next thing. Do that. Next thing. Because unless you complete the thing in front of you, you don't get to the following obstacle. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do, just to demonstrate that, is come over this rock from one side, Yeah. turn around and ride back over it. In a space or just you, turn around? Let me keep it kind of tight, okay. but I'm not, I'm not worried. That's not the point. Okay. Come from that side, over here, turn around, back over. Back over again. Right. Yeah. Just, it's just, just ride over it. Just ride over it. Ride over that rock. Right, now this is the space where you think. You come over the rock, pause. Come yeah, around, I was just gonna steam use again. this very easy piece of trails flat. You yeah. don't need to do anything here other than think about what's coming up, not yeah. what you're doing here. Yeah. So you come over that rock, yeah. use this time to think about your line, and then back over that rock. Over it, turn. Should I, should I make it look a bit neater, or should I just try and ride it? No, just ride over the rock. Okay. Over the rock. Now you've got time to think about the next bit of trials. Turn around. Okay, now you've got time. Use the time. This is actually really You can really balance hard. here all day long. It's got plenty of time. Go when you're ready. Oh, oh, nice, nice. That was a. Uh, See how much time you had here? Yeah, loads. All day, all day, and that's what trials can teach you. When you're going down a trail, you don't have to hit one obstacle to the next. You can go down through an obstacle, use the next bit of simple trail to line yourself up and get the right line for the next bit, rather than using an incredible tool set you've got of skills to just handle it as you hit it. Practice. Right. Think what you're doing. Simple, isn't it? Simple. Break it down, use your time, Nice and smooth. That was smoother. Yeah. I reckon if I had a little bit more time, yeah. think about my gear choice, because going off that, I was like, oh, yeah. I thought the front yeah. was going to drop. Yeah. I mean, you're sacrificing speed, sure. But what you and are doing is really riding through the trail in a confident, calm way. You've definitely got your line choice sorted, and you've got plenty of time to take the obstacles on. And that's probably a really good way to go through the trail first, unless you've got a big old bunny up like Blake. So we've slowed you down a little bit and we've got you thinking about the space you've got in between obstacles. That's one of your weaknesses if you've got one, but one of your strengths, we've seen it here, is the bunny hop. Yeah. So let's work on that next because working on something that you're confident with will really make you feel better on the bike and, and totally teach you what you can use. It's one of your weapons. So we're gonna use your bunny hop now to make you do something you never thought you could do. Okay, right, we're gonna teach Blake, like I just said, to do something bunny hop wise he's never done before, using that skill that he's already very good at. So maximizing the strengths in his riding rather than the weakness. Okay, so Blake, yep. this park bench, these are great trials obstacles. Trials riders, this is bread and butter. It's like safety. To a trials rider, it's great. What I want you to do is ride at this picnic bench at this 90 degree just angle. Straight into it. 
and uh, bunny hop, but you know how you do usually on a trail, you're bunny hopping and leading with your front wheel. Yeah. What I want you to start getting your head around is bunny hopping to your back wheel. Very steep landing point, back brake locked. Right. It should go on a trials bike, it would look a bit like this. So that's what I want you to think, really high front end, back wheel landing right on that edge there. Okay. You think about it, it's a very sharp edge, but you've got a good quarter of a wheel to hit it with. Yeah. So it's not that bad. Okay. And then, and then... we're gonna then we're gonna progress it. And now shuffle your feet in, make yourself a little road through the through the loam. Nice little channel. It's gonna focus your route in. <sighs> Nervous, Mr. Ashton. Oh, you've got this. Your bunny hop is strong. Well, have, have, have a little run up. Don't do it. Have a little run into it. See, you're not going to get three in. I am not going to get three in. So you need to take it back. You need two strong pedals, left, right. So you want to start it. with my. So you want to start with your left foot first. You're going to go left, right, and then shoot. and bunny up. Now, I've noticed something else. What's that? Right, you're wasting a lot of energy right at the start because you're starting from a sat down position. Get up, balanced. Right. Oh, Track yeah. stand. And go. That's it. That was perfect, Blake. And then whoop. that's it. That that was that was, was that good. On. Yeah. It's a bunny, we're looking for a bunny hop without the assistance of a pedal. Right. So that left right's got to be whoop. really strong. Okay. Rub rub. Yes. Better. 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 Yes. Yes. You're it? still using a little pedal, but I like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that Is that was, all that I need was, to do? do it, yeah, what you want to concentrate, you land and you want to, you want to think that back brake's going nowhere. Yeah. You want to go chip, chip. Think it about isn't. those trials riders as you see on Instagram, they, they're going up and landing on such tiny things, but they're absolutely 100% sure their back brake is going to grip, the tire's going to grip. And that's how they're doing it, they're focusing on a very small point. Oh, lovely, yeah. Oh, I thought I was going over the bars. That was nice. <laughs> nice. nice. Start on a right, yeah. on your strong foot balance, pedal it round to your left, then wait yeah. a little bit and go left, right. Ah. Because you're going, you're going, at the moment you're going Le yeah. left, right, right. Yeah. So you kind of go uh, left, right, right. right. Yeah. Whereas if you, if you change it round, you could go right, right left, left, right. right. Uh, like that left, right would yeah. be huge. Right, now go right. Oh, yeah. That you was get it. the timing right, that that, was it. that's powerful. That is it. Yeah. That was it. I think at this point, yeah. it's important that you be quite disciplined. And now you've got your run up dialed, I would be quite disciplined. Rather than trying to go for the big height, I'd do five goes at this. Yeah. So you just get like, really comfy because then you're going to move on to something much bigger, but you want to be confident about what you're doing. So I would just have a bit of discipline now to just repeat this a few times. You've Big, got it. Bigger. But he's don't saying, go bigger yet. He's saying bigger. It's trials, that's what it's about. It's weights and measures, man. You've got to like, how big can I go? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think you could get a bit more conviction with the back. At the moment, it's like this. It's laboured. It's like you want ah, like put it. Make there. sure I'm putting it there. Yeah. All right. Bit of aggression. Oh, you're the best. You're the best student. <laughs> you're the best student the Ashton Academy has ever had. Yes. Because that was the, that was like definite. That was. Right, now that's the energy you want to move on to a harder thing with. Uh, that, that is really hard. It's yeah. undercut, it's sharp. It looks intimidating. It's very, very intimidating. <laughs> I think we can get him up there. And he won't believe it, he'll be chuffed, he'll be so stoked. It's that high? Yeah. That's high. That's a meter. It's high. That but I have is to go higher probably than that. a meter high. Oh, pedals were all over the place. Yeah, left foot there. Yeah. All over the place. Left You're going to go, yeah. Yes. Working your pedals out is so important. It is actually, because you want your power foot yeah. to be the power uh, to get you there. And as you ride trials more, it just becomes instinctive. You start thinking, oh, left right to there, or left right left. There's lots of different combinations. But one thing I think is going to make a huge difference 
is placed in a little, what tri in trials language, it's called a kicker. Right. Right. If you stick a little bit of wood, tiny, tiniest little bit, just something that's got a little bit of bump to it. Now, okay, this might seem like we're suddenly cheating or anything, but you can remove this at any point, but this will help you with the timing, confidence, because one of the things when you're going towards an undercut step is you're thinking, what if the front's not in the air? So the most important thing is to get the front in the air. I would place that, looking at your pedals, I reckon about there. Have a run in and see, but let your front bump that. And you see how much more confident that makes you feel. Yeah, that makes, okay. Just try it. Okay. Just try it. Let's try it. I just let it tap it. Just, just roll in like you were before. See if it feels like the place where you take off. If not, you adjust it. Mm. It's pretty close on the right. It's nearly the right spot. It's nearly the right spot, Mark. Okay. I'm pretty confident you're going to fly up there. That was not it, though. No, uh, I mean, it's a great result. I'm not going to lie. That was a bunny it's hop. It's a pal. great result, but it was your classic huge bunny hop, which is, <laughs> which is the skill that we're trying to take advantage of. So that's great. We want to get you dip making that back wheel get there with a definite lock bang, and stop. Bang. Oh no. Oh no. I would suggest starting right back there, rolling in, like, like get, get the pedaling out, roll in and just concentrate. Where is that left right going to start okay. here? Whoa! So. <laughs> it's so a case that, that. So, no, but what was really interesting there is that your natural approach was right, left, right, which equates into lots more power because you've turned that two pedal that you're doing on the smaller step into three so that's really great rolling in nice winding it up whoa come in come on yes yes that was good that was good oh. that was good that was big <gasps> really nice and calm there and in right I don't know if I want to do that again. I really want to see you do it again. Okay. So you could land even steeper. Oh, that was nice. That got me going. Yeah. Yeah, stop, stop, balance. Think about the next bit. Go for it, go on. Woohoo! <laughs> and we got a result. Fucking try! Yes! <laughs> that was sick. That, oh, that was a terrible, terrible high five. <laughs> there you go. I knew you had a big bunny up. I knew it. That was awesome. That was awesome. So, if you would like to try something like that, um, that was a great way to do it. You could even make it harder by start removing that kicker, but you don't need to because a lot of the time you'll see in the natural terrain there's something there that will help you a root a rock, something like that. The important thing is to get confident with it. So Blake would be able to practice that over and over again, and then he's suddenly hitting lines that he never thought possible because he's becoming much more accurate and using all that beefy <laughs> power to throw his bike up some great rocks. End of lesson number three yes. in the Ashton Trials Academy. Loving it. I've got some more to come for Blake and Neil, where we'll be testing their balance in the next session. So look forward to that. Um, if you'd like to stay with us on GMBN, then I'll tell you what, I've been enjoying, enjoying GMBN Tech recently. Oh yes, we uh, have. Check yeah. out one of those videos just there. Uh, globe is a, a globe right there, there. for subscribing. Click it. Um, yeah, and give us a thumbs up like if you're enjoying Blake's trials progress. I am. See you next time.